Hey guys, Kev Spec. Welcome back to the channel. Well, finally, I've got some electrical issues with my FG Falcon. Now, a lot of cars in general, so this isn't just for your FG Falcon, all right? Some of these fixes relate to cars in general. One of my problems I've been having is I've been having a bit of intermittent battery drain and an intermittent battery charge. Now, I've been pretty much doing nothing about this for the last 12 months, but it's got to the point where I had to track it down. So, I'll get to the other points, but the first one I found is a good old glove box light staying on. Now, in this model in particular, but this can be a problem, you know, your kids open your glove box on, on any car, it can be a Mazda or whatever. Um, if you leave the glove box down and you lock the car, it will leave the glove box light on, and therefore in the morning you will have no battery because the glove box light's been on all night. So, FG Falcons especially have this issue with the glove box left-hand side warping. So what that does is this little switch that contacts the, uh, the light doesn't contact and your glove box light stays on. Now there's a couple other electrical issues but we'll get to further on in the video. So for now we're gonna show you how to hopefully straighten the glove box and repair the switch and change a globe if need be on an FG Falcon. You, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so this is, you can clearly see here where the, the glove box has been warped from heat and poor design, whatever you want to call it. That, that should be flush. So you can see how much that the glove box has warped. Now the problem is the little switch for the light is on that side. So when I drop the glove box down, there's the switch there. And it's got a little contact point just there. But as you can see, because the glove box doesn't close properly, it doesn't contact this switch. So I think I've also got a bit of a dodgy globe, but we're gonna pull the glove box out and try and fix it. So, interestingly, it's like we have a whole lot of glass on top of this switch. I don't know if that's got an impact on it, guys, but this car was in a pretty bad accident before I bought it. The whole left side of the car was taken out and this window was smashed. So I knew that when I first cleaned the car in detail, I found chunks of glass. Now I'm finding glass in where this globe is and where the switch is, so. Maybe it's got something to do with it. Maybe it hasn't, but. Definitely doesn't look right. All right guys, so we've got the glove box out. Um, as you can see, so just have a close look here. This is that glass that I was talking about. Now I'm not saying this is the problem, but this may be interrupting the switch operating. So I'm gonna take this out because it's obviously the switch. That's the switch and I don't know if you can see, I'll try and, there is actually glass jammed in. So I don't know, you know, if the glass is causing this not to sit properly or glass isn't conductive to my knowledge. So, but surely isn't helping. As we close, you can probably see before I even close the glove box that it's warped. So we're taking note of this gap here. And I think you can see that as I close the glove box, it is not closing flush. So I think you should be able to see that, you know, we're not bad here, pretty flush. And pretty sort of flush, you know, ish on the side. There is a trim that goes over that, so that would have been flush. But you can clearly see that should be probably there. So we're going to try and first stage, we're just going to try and gently heat it up. Now this being plastic, you've got to take extra caution. Whenever you're heating plastic up, guys, always go less than more or you'll end up with a warped mess and you will be going to a wrecker or Ford for a new club box. So hopefully Kev doesn't wreck this. But I think just with a little bit of heat, we can coerce this back into straightness. Alrighty guys, so this is what I've come up with. 
I'm going to flex the center here. It's The glove box is locked in. I'm going to flex the center and then pull this down. I'm going to pull this down with masking tape. So hopefully this works. Now, I don't think the masking tape's going to hold it, to be honest. No, so it's got too much stretch in it. Um, more masking tape. Still not really holding it because the masking tape's too stretchy. So, well, right, we're gonna try uh, stage two. At least I've got some masking tape on it to protect it. So this is just gonna help me to uh, lock it in, Eddie, so to speak. And no, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So this is all trial and error. I haven't Googled this or searched YouTube to see if someone's done it. I'm doing it Kev spec way. Okay, so the tape was a bit of a fail, but I can say it was a plan, so I didn't mark the glove box when I put the cable ties on. So I think this will definitely hold it in. Obviously the tape um, and anything else, there was too much stretch in it. So this should give me the uh, power to really force this home without hurting anything. I just want it obviously as far down to the, this corner as I can to get the desired effect. Just trying to tighten up these cable ties as much as I can. All right, well it's not perfect guys, but definitely got it sitting flush. So that's almost banger. So providing the heat does its job and it stays in that position, I'll call that a win. So. I'm just gonna sit it in front of the heater for like half an hour and we'll come back and see how it goes when I release it. Just had this sitting in front of the heater for about 40 minutes. Um, I did come in off camera um, after it was nice and warm and just get a little bit more of a tighten out of the strap. So you'll see here, all I've done is just sit it in, your, in front of a heater. Yes, you could use a heat gun, but you gotta be really careful with heat guns. They're a more direct and a lot hotter heat. And this is just giving it a more general you know, heating across a larger service area so we're not going to warp and buckle it or anything. So we'll have a look. I think we've got the result that we need. So, so as you can see, guys, before this area here was actually flush. So when I came in before and did that second tighten, you can see it's actually pulled it in a little bit over flush, which is what I want because as much as you like we're going to put it outside to cool down and hopefully this will stay in its position but i'm expecting it to flex back a bit so if we go a little bit over what we want and then it flexes back with any luck it'll be mickey mouse so we'll take this outside and let it cool down slowly it's a nice cool day in melbourne so just gonna, just gonna sit this outside and uh, just let that cool down slowly so this is our switch, very basic, globe goes in there. Now I can't, there's no oxidization, there's no issues. I haven't checked the resistance in here, but I think it'll be fine. Um, like I was saying, there's a whole lot of gunk in here before, so I'm just gonna give it a good old contact cleaner with your good old electrical cleaner. Just give it a bit of a blast. I'm not sure if this is the problem. I'm sure I had a dodgy globe, but it won't hurt to give this a good cleaning just to make sure that everything's oh. just give that a good shake out now whenever you're cleaning any electrical products throttle bodies anything always use the appropriate product I've used brake clean or prep sole on electrical things and they don't like it. Yes, you'll get away with it 90% of the time, but always use a proper either contact cleaner when you're using electrical or a proper throttle body and carby and uh, sensor safe induction cleaner if you're ever cleaning electrical components on your induction or anything on the engine. I think this is in perfect working order. We're just gonna pop a new globe in him. And uh, when the glove box is ready, we'll show you the reinstallation and hopefully it's a winner-winner. Okay, 
So this has been sitting outside now for about half an hour. Like I said before, it's quite a coolish day on, in Melbourne today. Um, so I've checked and this is 100%, it's quite cold to the touch actually, because it's cold in Melbourne, typical Melbourne day. So here we go, it's either fixed or, or not. Yeah, it'll either be fixed or just maybe it needs another heating and another rego. So we'll just see how much this pops out when I crack the cable tie here. That's not too bad, considering we've still got the foam in here that's forcing it out. So that's definitely better than it was before. Let's see how it goes when we uh, take this out. Maybe not. That This was putting a lot of pressure on it, so we'll just see. be a win or a fail. Exactly the same guys. So obviously we need to get a little bit more aggressive with the heat on this. Um, that's not really acceptable to me. That's I wouldn't even say that's marginally better to be honest guys. So that has not worked. So um, we'll have to have another go at it. Alright guys. Next step. Heat gun. <laughs> We're going to try and get this nice and hot and give it a good old tweaking. Now you've got to be really careful using any kind of heat gun, especially this is not a proper heat gun, this is a, a very hot heat gun. So just, you know, don't leave it in one spot for too long. So this is um this is not as easy as it looks guys. Like I thought that was really hot, but it's just not pliable enough. Yeah. Maybe I should have Googled it. Hang on a minute. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Um fixed. I, I can't explain it, but that is definitely better than it was 10 minutes ago. And I didn't flex it, I just heated it up. Well, maybe that's that's the trick here, guys. Look, the glove box wasn't a, a raging success, to be honest. We got it a little bit better, but it's a job for another day where I've got more time and to try different heating methods but you've got to be real careful with heat obviously so it's a little bit better we're gonna to have to go with what we've got pretty confident though we have fixed the switch which is one of the issues um, so we're gonna put a new globe in here with any luck this should be uh, fixed I'm gonna call that fixed I'm going to call that a win, a three-quarter win, a Kev spec win. The switch is 90%. It might have a bit of a dicky contact in there and need cleaning again one day, but that's a win, I'm going to say. Um, the glove box closes better because I've adjusted the latch. We've heated up the face of the glove box. We've got that a little bit better. Um, and definitely the switch and the light are now operating. It comes on when you open it. And it definitely switches off when you close it. So I'm going to call that a win, guys. Off to the next electrical fix. Well, there you go, guys. That's how you fix a Ford FG glove box when they're warped from the heat or whatever. Most of them do it. There was actually a warranty issue through Ford. So my top tip is basically just heating it up and let it go back to its natural state because they flex from the heat. So my top tip, give it a good heat up and let it return to its natural state and make sure you clean out that uh, this little switch that operates it and watch those pesky kids and make sure they keep that glove box closed. That's my top tip for FG glove box draining your battery overnight. Um, and if you 
like this video, you might like what's coming out. I've got part two of the electrical fixes, and I've got some really good, really simple, that you might not think of fixes for your Ford Falcon, particularly the FG model, but also covers, you know, basic electrics in vehicles. So stay tuned to the next video, part two of Kev Specs Electrical Fixes. Thank you for supporting the channel and watching the video, and don't forget to jump on Martini. I haven't mentioned this for a while, guys. You can use the code KevSpec to get 10% off. That's right, 10% on any purchase you make at the Martini Racing Products Hub. So put in the discount line KevSpec and you get 10% off. You, All right, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe and stay tuned for the part two of KevSpec's Electrical Fixes. Stay safe and love yous and just remember, it ain't wrong, it ain't right, it's KevSpec.